Oh, oh, no, okay. I scratched the shit out of myself. Pick a number. One. Uh -oh. What? Oh, I scratched the shit out of myself. Did I cut myself? Oh, you all right? No? I don't see it. You ain't okay. showing me your face. Oh. That side, I mean. Damn. Shut up, no, I'm playing. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it did, but it did. Like, okay. I got myself good. Okay, what was you saying? All right. Pick a number. One through 100. One through 100? One through 100. Oh, my God. 23. My birthday. All right. So, 23. Oh I thought you say, like, Jordan. But oh, I forgot no. you can't hoop. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm playing. I can't wait till it get warm enough. I'm playing. Right. Play. So that would mean we watching True Romance because one oh, through sixty nine you know was True Romance, seventy through one hundred was Jackie. Brown. What? <laughs> I had to stop it at one okay. through sixty nine. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Which True Romance? Oh, True Romance. Both of these are. Uh, so this one is Jackie Brown. They both so are you, highly requested. So on you both of us wanted right. to watch True Romance because you did not split this evenly. Well, I, I, did, I did also. I wanted to watch Jackie Brown the least because it was the longest. So I did. Do oh, that okay. I'm like, but what? I also it's not an even split. <laughs> yeah, but I also intentionally was like, oh, one through sixty nine. It's a romance movie. So romance. okay. So, uh, so 69 is Yeah, romantic. so I was like, oh, that would be cool to stop it there. So I stopped it there. So, true romance or... Okay. Oh, now it's true romance. That's what I was asking you. Oh, was... dang. Okay, I do think we should watch a Twilight trilogy, whatever it is. Like, we should <laughs> it's watch it. funny. But I feel like we should do that. Like, we should do that another time. All right. So Let's we'll just go ahead and watch true romance. True romance. With, or Jackie Brown. Because I don't even which know. One, which one you want to watch for, honestly? Um, it doesn't matter, but I do know, like you said, Jackie Brown is long. Jackie, uh, let's... <laughs> no, then we go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, so, we, I'm fine with True Romance. True, I'm fine with True, true Romance. romance and this is. is the one that... Uh, Quentin Turntill is, I guess, heavily associated with a part okay. of it. We can look it up real quick. You want to look it up or just going blind? Uh, but everyone okay, was saying it's... the box it's art. An, I've art. never seen it. what this movie about to be about. True yeah. Romance. Mm, but, I mean, it is a crime thriller it's the truest and of the romances i know it's about, i bet it's about to be <laughs> how ugly it is because uh, i mean with quentin tarantino heavily being associated at least i take it's it gonna be it. about a toxic relationship yeah. of like <gasps> what if it true romance what if follows like Bonnie and Cl huh? what if it follow you know those two people that um were in the we're in the no oh, we're in the restaurant uh, yeah How they, <laughs> what if it's their story that'd be dope but i don't think it's a uh, no, Quint movie though I think oh he, no i know but i'm uh, saying like directed by tony scott and written, and by, written by quentin Quint Tarantino. Tarantino. so that was the right one that was a box yeah. in that movie he couldn't give a fuck about nothing so brockman and old living fast I watched that hillbilly and I want to be him so bad. Man, just look good. <laughs> yeah, I ain't no fan. But... You know, I always said if I had to fuck a fucking guy, you know, I mean, had to. If my life depended on it. I'd fuck Elvis. I'd fuck Elvis. Well, when he was alive, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. So we die, we both fuck Elvis. It's nice to meet people with common interests, eh? ain't <laughs> You want to take me to a kung fu movie? Three kung fu movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Not really my cup of tea. <laughs> Would you decline a first date if you didn't agree with the genre of the movie they invited you to? You see, I really want to say I would not. Yeah. But I might. <laughs> I, but Kung Fu, I would want to go see a Kung Fu movie. I would yeah, I don't think okay, that's bad for first I'd go see a movie I didn't like on yeah. the first day. Oh, yeah, I would too, because you don't know if you don't like it. But. Right. Or, no, even if I knew, like, oh, it's yeah. not my thing, I just can't be scary. I've definitely went on first dates <laughs> to scary movies. Mm -hmm, mm. True romance. I bet. Brad Pitt. How old was Brad Pitt in 1993? He was like 12, wasn't he? <laughs> the music's so happy, they're just homeless. I know, I'm like, this is some depressing <laughs> stuff for this music. <laughs> Can we turn it down a little bit more? Just really enough for the set town. Chris Penn, oh. wasn't he in um, Reservoir Dogs? Who? Chris Penn. Was that him? Uh, this monkey is loud. I can't loud. remember. <laughs> to come all the way from the highways and byways of Tallahassee, Florida... To Motor City, Detroit, to find yeah. my true love. Uh, right? 
Uh, that is probably Detroit for real. What'd you say? So they're in Detroit. This movie's in Detroit. I wonder. That's gonna be fire. It's gonna be the second Detroit. Come, yeah, yeah. Well, the, was it the other movie was not a Detroit yeah, movie at all. I just used the name. Well, I found my Keep Detroit or true love. Too. <laughs> I would never have guessed that true romance in Detroit would ever go together. Tarantino. And he'd say, that's the way it goes. Jake Ryder retired. Every once in a while, it goes the other way, too. You good? Yeah. Oh, look what happened. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Jerry, where are we going? Someone did tell me they used to allow smoking in theaters. (laughs) You used to allow smoking everywhere. Mind if I smoke? Do you mind filling me in on what I missed? (laughs) (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Why he ain't so much a good guy as he's just a bad motherfucker. (laughs) Three (laughs) kung fu movies. To see three movies, you have to sit in the movie theater for a solid six hours. I know. You, that's a long time. Three back to back movies? When he said triple, I was like, damn, that's really a thing. I heard of double, but I never knew triple was a thing. If it is, I'll shoot. That movie you didn't give a fuck about nothing. So rock and roll, living fast, dying young, was a good looking corpse. That's a speech he gives? Tell me, tell me about yourself. What music do you like? What do you turn on? Do you turn off? What do you do? I don't remember. Where are you from? I don't know. Well, who's your favorite movie star? Burt Reynolds. Uh, you want you want to buy my pie? Sure. I love one. All right. <laughs> Oop. You all right? <laughs> what are your turn-offs? Mickey Rock. Man, it can appreciate the fine things in life, like sugar. Goodness. Turn-offs. Mm-hmm. Persians. <laughs> Is that what? Persians? That's what I thought I heard. Do I have a fella? Ask me that one a little bit later. It's complicated. <laughs> I get the check. Where to next? Can I peek? Don't peek. Keep your eyes shut, all right? Wow, what a swell place to work. Pretty cool. I got the key, so I just come in, you know, read comics, play music. <laughs> that is pretty dope. You get paid a lot? Uh, no, that's that's where the trouble comes in. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see what Spider-Man number one looks like? <laughs> you bet. Later on the story, he gets in this fight with this Nazi bastard in the crowd and he grabs a hold of the chain. He's very passionate about things that he like. He is. I can't really read her too much yet. I think she she's the she got to be the mastermind person. <laughs> really? At this point, I wonder if it's about to really just be a romantic movie. Like, they just about to fall in love or something. <laughs> and it's just, just going to be a over. sad movie or something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. I can't really read her she too much. Definitely she definitely chose him. And oh, yeah. So we'll have to find out for what. <laughs> yeah, that popcorn spill definitely seemed like a, ooh, a, mis- a mistake. Yeah, that was Just, no mistake. Yeah, that right. was so absolutely, yes. Is this all still in the first night? Yeah. Oh, I thought she was in the street. Oh, okay. No, she's on top of a sign, though. His apartment is outside that. It's actually kind of dope. Uh, yeah. no, that's like, I'm, I don't know. It's kind of dope. <laughs> you just have like a free balcony. Yeah, right. I have something I got to tell you. I didn't just happen to be at that dinner. I was paid to be there. You get paid to check up on the uh, box office girls and make sure they're not ripping the place off. I'm not a theater checker. <laughs> you know the place you took me to last night? The place you work? He called the place where I work. He ordered a girl for you. He said he wanted you to get laid. He wanted me to act like I just showed up. Now, how did he know you were going to be at that theater? Well, I, I go to the movies every year on my birthday. In fact, <laughs> oh. he called me up this week to find out what my birthday movie was going to be. You're not mad? I can't tell you. That was one of the best times I ever had. <laughs> I don't think I'll be mad neither, though. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> you know, I knew something must be rotten in Denmark. There was no way you could like me that much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't tell you how relieved I was when you took off your dress. You, you didn't have a dick. <laughs> very calm about this. I'm a really good person. And when it comes to relationships, I'm 100% monogamous. You stay with one guy? 
Exactly. He like, I live a simple life. I <laughs> think you can. Is that what? I'm just the, like he was just not at all surprised. He did not care that she was. I mean, he still win. He got some. He said, you know, to be honest with you, I was happy you didn't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Like I knew you couldn't like me that quickly. Like Shoot. he's he's just like, oh, cool. <laughs> I take it, but she really about to fall for him. That's why she upset though. I don't know. Oh, that's funny though. I never had as much fun with the girls I had with you my whole life. You like Janice? You like uh, kung fu movies? You like the Partridge Family? <laughs> Actually, I don't like the Partridge Family. That was part of the act. <laughs> <laughs> After only knowing you one night. Me being a call girl and all. But I think I love you. Damn. She's not a good call girl. <laughs> really not. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. And I swear from this moment forth. I'll never lie to you again. Did they? They didn't get married. Yes, they did. <laughs> They just went and got married after a night. Hey, they live it, dog. I saw the flowers, but I just didn't pay them any attention. You know, I'm just like, oh, that was like nice. Shit. He got some flowers. I'm for about her. to like this. It's a. Hey, Damn. They just moving, I guess. It's like, F it, what happened, happened. F it, I guess. Good morning, Mr. Worley. You brought him on the night, Mr. Worley. Oh, calling each other's last name. Damn, <laughs> they are extreme as hell. Do you think you could turn down the heat just a tiny bit? Who and what is a Drexel? She was my pimp. Pimp? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he is. He got a little bit rough the other day. What do you mean, with you? Off my friend Arlene. What you motherfuckers talking about? Hey. Boys say, you don't be pussy. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you smoke enough sherm, your dumb ass will do a lot of motherfucking things. You be up in there sucking niggas. <laughs> <laughs> With a little demonstration. Hmm. Toss me the burner. All right, peep this. Huh? Mm-mm. This ain't gonna go well. Yeah, I'll, I'll think it's some <laughs> shit, too. I'll think it's some shit, too. It's not even about to go well. And you you. Oh, damn. Oh, I thought he was just going to shoot him. He just him. killed Sam L? <laughs> what? What was the that brick, for? Because the, the work, the cocaine. Dang. I thought he was just going to sh shoot him. I thought Sam L was with him. No, I thought the he was dude. about to be goofy and try to show him how to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and blow I thought his own him. brains out. That's what I thought. Oh, damn. <laughs> blow his own out? <laughs> I thought he was. That's still on his mind, huh? Starting to figure out what he did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> them secrets starting to reveal. That son of a bitch walking around beating the same air as you. You want to get on the haunted? Oh, yeah. Well, I'd kill him. Shoot him in the face. Put him down like a dog. I don't want to kill him, but I want to spend the rest of my life in jail. I don't blame you. Killing's the hard part. Getting away with it, that's easy. You think a cop gives a fuck about a pimp? As long as you're not at the scene of the crime, smoking gun in your hand. Slightly unstable. Yeah, I knew. He could just move on. Like, he has no reason to he's bother that dude. About, he really don't, but yeah, he's definitely all in his head because I take it that was his conscience talking to him, whatever it was, it was. supposed to be. Yeah, yeah I know, but man. I'm about to go seek this guy out. Write down your former address. Why so I can go over there and pick up your stuff? That's why. I just want to disappear from there. Look, ma'am, I know he scares the shit out of you, but I'm not scared of that motherfucker. You are completely out of his reach. He poses absolutely no threat to you. I can tell you it's gonna be fine. I'll be in and out of there. This is horrible decision making. Man, hello. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Yeah, he let that get to him far too easy. But and it too was much. like That's she stupid. he didn't even she never said that he hit her, her right? I mean, he, you know, he was her pimp, but still, like, man. For four days. So how much damage could he really have done? Yeah, this he dude roughed up crazy, a man. friend. Like yeah, I agree with you on this. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this dude is <laughs> wild. Like, bro, it is not that serious. Man, you already you got the girl. She's trying to leave right? in the past. Go she ahead, like, I'm just trying to disappear from there. We can we can uh, he is not hunting her down yet. I see if you get to start hunting down. Your new wife, with that shit. 
But it no. is too wild. It's a nice he car did. though. <laughs> if that's that is. old pimp Detroit car right That's a look like old pimp car. <laughs> Cadillac. Is that a Cadillac? I don't know. It's gotta be. Look like something my uncle would have. A Cadillac. <laughs> right. <laughs> my dad had three of them ones. Hey, yup, Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> I think she married a serial killer. He about to kill multiple people. <laughs> you want something? Yeah, hey, you Drexel. No, man, I'm Marty. Why am I talk to Drexel? What the fuck you want to talk to me about? What's about Alabama? Who the fuck are you? I'm her husband. Well, that makes us practically related. She said he thought he was black. Yo. Let's see. We're sitting down here, ready to negotiate. You ain't even sat down yet. And that TV over there, since you've been in the room, is a woman with her breasts just hanging out. You ain't even about to You're just me. I'm not eating because I'm not hungry. I'm not sitting because I'm not staying. I ain't looking at the movie because I already seen it seven years ago. I ain't scared of you. I just don't like you. that envelope right there is for my peace of mind. My peace of mind is worth that much. Not one penny more. <laughs> there ain't no money in there. See <laughs> Mr. Majestic? Look at here. Man, he came to talk shit and insult this man. He did not come to pack nothing for this girl. Gave that boy zero dollars and said, not one pity more. <laughs> not one pity more. Like, now I feel like this whole movie is probably avoidable. If he would have just... Honestly, I feel girl. like this is about to be one of the movies that make major turns because I ain't gonna lie, it's already kind of making turns for where I'm from. I just trying to lend a girl a helping hand. <laughs> Is he biting? Him? I think he got his other eye. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, he did? That dude keeps jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see him, he like, ah. <laughs> it was a little superhero jump. I want to see his face. I want to see if he got his eye. Fuck with me, white boy. Look at that smack in front of my motherfucking bitch. <laughs> you must have thought it was white boy day. <laughs> it ain't white boy day, is it? <laughs> well, well, well. Now you got your ID. <laughs> now you got his ID and his uh, address. Like you went over there and made trouble. <laughs> he really did. I wonder why uh, Drexel so didn't kill him though. Apartment forty eight, and I make a million dollar bet that Alabama's at the same address. Take the car, go get. I'll bring a dumb ass back here. What the fuck you do him? Damn. Wait, he never took his ID back. He ne oh, yup. Yo, Yo they... mystery movie watching that. <laughs> yup, man. That's going to be the only Damn. problem. If a problem arises, if that's going to yeah. be it. Why is this dude's, why is this random dude's ID here? Did he take it back? I thought he did pick mm -mm. it up. He handed it, to, he handed it to Marty okay. and told Marty to go get Bama. And then he called him back in. So, big boy got... The freaking ID mm -hmm. on his person. I killed him. I'm gonna hammer this, I'm gonna fucking starve to death. That's well, probably the best goddamn fucking hammer I ever had in my entire life. I've never had a hamburger taste this good. What the fuck you crying for, huh? Christ, he's not worth one of your tears. Would you rather have been me? I think what you did what? was. What? What? was so romantic. <laughs> These people are toxic. Damn. And in my head, I'm like, see, that's what you get. You're Jump right? into that damn relationship. Now you understand. Oh, damn. Jeez. Well, about to make for a good movie. <laughs> they both a little nutty. They deserve <laughs> each other. Right Kill a man, get a burger, please your girl. <laughs> Her type of man. <laughs> oh, he grabbed her wrong. <laughs> they 
Yeah, these aren't my clothes. <laughs> he is now. Yeah, all of that is river front now. Huh? That's the Renaissance building. Oh, you can Detroit. It's the Renson right there. It's the Hudson building. That's that's downtown. This is this is down river though. This is like yeah. further away from downtown. But all this is done up now. Are you gonna have to excuse the place? I haven't been exactly doing a lot of entertainment. You are the last person in the world. <laughs> And I expected to yeah, see chill. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> hello, hello, Mama. I'm his father. It's all right. I'm his wife, Alabama Whirly. <laughs> <laughs> we got married. <laughs> he ain't said congratulations or nothing. I wouldn't either if my son come back and just got married first day. But did he know that much? Like, he don't know how long they've known each other. Granted, he's, yeah, he he's in the but... right. <laughs> but, yeah, but I, ain't about to, I don't even know he you had a girl. Concerned. You said you married? He I would be too. Your kid her, just, like, oh, uh, this is my wife or my husband. Like, I uh, know you had a girl. <laughs> hard to tell you what to get because different places have different things. Here, you should cover it up, doggy. Okie dokie, doggy daddy. <laughs> this is the sweetest goddamn thing you ever saw in your whole life. Can you fool her on fire or what? She seems very nice. <laughs> nice. Daddy, nice ain't the word. I mean, this girl, she's a peach, you know? You're your fucking mother through and through. I haven't heard from you in three years. <laughs> Show up all of a sudden at 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, don't get me wrong. I love you. I'm glad to see you. But slow it down, man. <laughs> when did you get married? You're out here because you want me to help you in some way. I. What do you need from me? You need money? Still have friends on the force? Yes, I still have friends on the force. Well, then could you just find out if they know anything about us? I don't think they know shit, but I don't want to think. I want to know for sure. They do, right? But what makes you think that I would do that? Because I'm your son. Oh, you're my son. Oh, you got it. Huh? All worked out, don't you? Huh? Oh, yeah. That's like one of my fears. As a... Uh... Parent is my kid approaching me needing help out of a jam that's, that's serious really... as hell. Oh my dog, I don't know what I'd do. When I wouldn't see you for a year and a half to two years, did I ever get in your shit about him that whole fucking time you were drunk? Did I ever get mad and point my finger at you? No, I never did. Everybody else did, but I didn't. Hey, look, I just need help, and you can fucking help me, all right? Like, I mean, if you want to sing. The music does not match the tone <laughs> of this movie. <laughs> I would have said that beginning. I, I was last time I heard it. I was going to say it's starting to fit to me. I don't know if just is because it it's because being forced it's on me. Is it because it's just wacky? I don't know. I can't explain it. But when I first heard, it, I'm like, that don't fit just this moment. This but I'm fine. Forget it. Don't worry about it. No problem. I'm gone. All right. I feel like everything he's gonna do now is going to. Is going to cause his own demise. Oh yeah, he's everything already he's been started doing. the ball rolling on his own demise. Yeah. Everything he does is just gonna make. Like it one of those type of people that just can't he seem to find a way out of trouble. Just, he could. He still could get away with it. Yeah, he, he still could not do anything. He really could, and if he can find somewhere to get off that, I think with cocaine, whatever. He yes, can, they can if he settle can down sell somewhere that, and boom. He all he had to do is sell all that cocaine to somebody. Be like, take it. Well, all I mean, that you ain't just gonna sell some, just some random user. No, a dealer but, or somebody yeah, like somebody like look. Eh. That ain't gonna work for him though. He he no, he, he has to he much. has to do see up. Uh, I can tell from the beginning because I was like he's passionate about things he like. Yeah, he's one of the he people that when he likes something much. he's gonna do it to the extreme. Dick Richie, <laughs> that's me. I mean, oh, I know he's so who he young. is. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Acting yeah. class or something. I meant audition. Yeah. That's what I meant. Uh, in this scene, you're both in a car, and Bill Shatner is hanging on the hood. What you want to do is get him off. Where the fuck did he come from? I don't know. He disappeared like magic. Well, don't just sit there. Shoot him. Okay, one hand. One hand. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was two hands, by the way. <laughs> she started with one, but yeah, yeah, it was two. Well, they found nothing. In fact, they think it's drug related. Well, apparently Drexel had his uh, big toe stuck in that shit. Really? Drexel had an association with a fellow named Blue Lou Boyle. My, who is he? Gangster, drug dealer, somebody that you don't want on That's your That's be ass. his work. Oh, look, I already know what he about to do. Huh? I already know what he about to do. Let's see. Don't say that. Let's, let's I'm lie, not, lie. but I, if he do what I think he about to do. So the cops, they don't think 
They're not after us. Nah, till they hear something yeah. better, they'll just assume Drexel had a falling out with Blue Lou. I mean, he's a pimp and a drug dealer. They ain't yeah. gonna really look for his murderer. <laughs> no, they not. He could easily get away with this if he want, but yeah. If he's smart. So far, he do not seem smart. <laughs> I hope everything works out with you and Alabama. I <laughs> like her. Make her a real cute couple. <laughs> Too late. He is not going to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Quit fucking around. <laughs> My friend Dick Ritchie's number and address in Hollywood. That's where we're going to be. All right. All right. Oh, so they We're taking off. Kiss pops goodbye. What is that? So they're leaving town. They're going to Hollywood. Oh, yeah. I, I will hope they're leaving town. I hate to play the blame game, but none of this would have happened if his boss wouldn't have put him up, set him up for a date. Hey, we're taking off. Just pop <laughs> Her name is Alabama. Let's keep it in the family. I don't know shit. <laughs> That's how you feel? Okay. <laughs> this movie is fucking with my head. They <laughs> keep making these turns. All right, let's go back. So. Why did she kiss that man like that? <laughs> Some bitches right. Tastes like a peach. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. See the music kind of fit now a little bit. It's cause it's all nutty. <laughs> it's all nutty. Hello, Hello baby. baby. You got it. Yeah. Oh, that's his boy. From you, man. What's going on? I'll tell you when I see you. And by the way, I ain't gonna be alone. I am bringing my lovely wife with me. I like her outfit. No, they got all new stuff. So where did they get this money? Ooh, I don't know. Like but he did say he had a little has... bit at one point. But yeah, everything. No, he when they when she talked and about Pops working at the, some money. but he didn't take it. Oh yeah. And when he talked about working at the comic book shop, he was like, "That's the thing. You don't get paid much, but the guy lets he you said, borrow money, you borrow money yeah. if you need it. But enough to go shopping like well, this. Well, we don't know where he got it from. Road but... trip, they all the way out west yeah. already. Say hello to my better half. Come here. How are you doing, Alabama Whirly? Ask him if he got the letter. Did you get the letter? What letter? What letter? Read the letter. I didn't get any letter. Read the letter. Tell him, man. Tomorrow, all of his money. All your money? Oh, I was looking to be. Don't be late. As of tomorrow, all your money problems are going to be over. Yep. Damn, Christopher Walken. Blue Lou. I bet. Who are you? The Antichrist. You got me in a vendetta kind of mood. My name is Vincent Cocotti. I work as consul for Mr. Blue Lou Boyle. Oh. I hear you were once a cop, so I can assume you've heard of us before. I've heard of Blue Lou Boyle. I'm glad. He looks like a vampire. He do. Look, I'd like to help you if I could, but I haven't seen Clarence. You see that? We talked to your neighbors. They saw a Cadillac. Clarence's purple Cadillac parked in front of your trailer yesterday. Dirty little whore found out we were going to do some business because your son, the cowboy, was playing. Came in the room blazing and didn't stop till they were pretty sure everybody was dead. They snatched my narcotics, hightailed it out of there. Would have got away with it, but your son. Fuck him, that he is. That's his driver's mm -hmm. That guy's hand. <laughs> Damn. Reckless. He could have been. All he had to do is. Just a lot of could have been moments in this movie, oh, though. Only God. if. What if? Could have. <laughs> oh. And you called it. He shows up yesterday with a young girl saying that he got married. He asked uh, for uh, some quick uh, cash to go on a honeymoon. Deal. Oh, oh fuck. Don Vincenzo, non c'è niente. Questa non è buona. You know what he said? Um, he said something's not important. Well, he did. The other guys, I think he said a minute, and then this guy said, that's not important. But He's they're so speaking smart. Italian. They're not brain. speaking. 
Spanish. That's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Italian, that's what it was? Yeah, but okay. Italian's a lot like Spanish, so sometimes I can understand bits and yeah. pieces of it. Okay. I'm Sicilian. My father was the world heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars. <laughs> <laughs> Could I uh, <clears throat> have one of those Chesterfields now? Try. He gonna tell him, fuck him. I think so. You about to have his last cigarette yep. and just die. Here's a fact. I don't know whether you know or not. Well, Sicilians were spawned by niggas. <laughs> Here's a fact. Sicilians have black blood. And, and no, if you, if, you, if you don't believe me, uh, you can look it up. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, then the Moors moved in there and, uh, well... They changed the whole country. They did so much fucking. <laughs> Blonde hair and blue eyes became black hair and dark skin. You know, it's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now this. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm quoting. <laughs> I love this guy. I love no. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> And your great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> and she had a half naked kid. If that's a fact, am I lying? Because you, you're part eggplant. <laughs> what? You're a cantaloupe. I'll get the fruit Ooh. reference. Eggplant, darks, uh, just a black. It's dark purple. Uh, okay, so I the owl picture. going okay. by, by just, the, just color. the color of it. It's a black yeah. thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I heard. The eggplant I kind of got, but yeah. I was like, I'm right. assuming he's telling this story in an effort to piss this dude off. Because <laughs> <I laughs> why you? Too. And I'm hoping so. Cause I'm like, don't don't snitch out your son. Because like his, his son said, he really needs his help. And hey, he ain't seen his son in three years. He look old. Like, I go out for my son like F it. I'm at the end, dog. I mean, it's not like he living a high life. Exactly. That <laughs> he too had a was trailer like, park by the train. He retired already. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like the little trailer park. I ain't gonna lie. As long as it's peaceful, just the right people Is it around. peaceful? Like, Except his neighbors definitely I, snitched. Well, yeah. I don't think they knew, but... <laughs> yeah, they, they probably, probably just like, oh, yeah, probably got like over here yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it's this little happen. interaction, though. They about to kill that man, though. Oh, yeah. I think he know it. I think that's why he yeah, took that last cigarette. I think he know it, too. Yep. Like, yeah, he ain't gonna snitch. Oh. <laughs> don't they kiss you before they kill you or something like that? I guess so. <laughs> Damn. I haven't killed anybody. Since 1984. That's how much he pissed him off. <laughs> 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 hey, it's so clean. Yes, it is. Oh. Get ready to be happy. Name and everything. Here in LA. I'm David Perry. God and damn. damn. The decisions these people make. Man. It's like receiving a blessing, but here's a curse. <laughs> Receive a blessing, here's a curse. It's not like no in between. So my man's about to get caught in the middle of all of this. Just chilling, trying to be an actor right. in LA. You call for a date? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> Huh? That's Brad Pitt. Oh, I didn't peek. Imagine being an aspiring actor in the room with ba Brad Pitt. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't tell you guys that I had this really, really good audition for TJ Hooker the other day. You're really in love, aren't you? Very first time in my life. Hey, hey, what are you doing in L.A. anyway, huh? This shit can't be real. Well, I get you high. Do you realize how much fucking coke you have here? Tell <laughs> me. I don't know, but it's a fucking lie. <laughs> this is drugs with coke. Oh, no, drink some dead shit. It's Clarence's crew. Clarence, he can do whatever he wants with it. Then me and Bama here, we're gonna jump on a jet plane and spend the rest of our lives spending. You, you lined up buyers for me? Listen, Clarence, I'm not Joe Cocaine, okay? <laughs> Lined up buyers for me. It's gotta be the whole enchilada in one shot. That's the way it's gotta be. Clarence, do you have any idea how difficult that's gonna be? I'm, I'm, I'm offering half a million dollars worth of white for 200 grand. You're telling me that's gonna be difficult, very difficult. 200 he grand. Give 200. 200 grand ain't gonna, he ain't gonna spend the rest yeah, of his life yeah, spending. Yeah, he not. There's, there's one guy that I know that could help you out, Clarence, but I'm not guaranteeing you anything. 
What is he big league? He's an assistant to a very big movie producer named Lee Donowitz. Where should we, where should we meet? Cedar Point? <laughs> I hope so. No, they out west. Oh, yeah, they did leave Europe. I think they're still in Detroit. $500,000 worth of cola that you're unloading for $200,000. Unloading, that is a hell of a way to describe the bargain of life. Where, really, where does it come from? Where does it come from? Yeah. Is he going to really tell him? What did you say? Oh, no. I'm, I was wondering if he was going to actually tell uh -oh. the whole story. Now, about a year and a half ago, this friend of mine got access to the evidence room. And he snagged this coat. Elliot looks a little green. <laughs> <laughs> Did he throw up? <laughs> big tits and ass tastes like French vanilla ice cream. He's not into taking risks, okay? He's got a couple of guys. He, he's been dealing with them for years. These, uh, they're, they're reliable, they're dependable, and they're safe. I'm not putting them down here. It's his money. Let him do whatever the hell he wants, but don't expect me and my friends to hang around. Forever waiting for you guys to grow some guts. Elliot, it's hey, Sunday. Really? Can you tell me why I'm talking to you on Sunday? I, I, I'm with that party that you wanted me to get together with, Lee. Want to do Hello, Lee. It's Clarence. Last we speak. Now, first of all, Lee, I want to tell you I'm a real big fan of yours. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not interested, Clarence. It's just that being a distributor is not what I'm all about. I'm a movie producer, you know? I am on this earth to make good movies. Nothing more and nothing more. Well, maybe less sometimes. <laughs> Elliot, he wants to talk to you. <laughs> why so jumpy? For real. He's a, he's a friend of uh, Dick's member. You, you, you want me to suck his dick? No, what? I said. Oh, who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him I was an actor? Yes, I told him. You told him I was good? Yeah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> you live here? Yes, I do. Yeah, well, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for a friend sure. of mine. Clarence Worley from Detroit. How do you know that? I mean, have you been over there? No. Well, they were here, and they said that they were going to go there. <laughs> and then they went. <laughs> Should I do my part okay? Babalu, well, you were perfect. Like a ninja? Like a ninja. I'm going to grab us something to eat, all right? Okay. I'm going to go jump in the tub and get all wet and slippery and soapy and then hop in that water bed. It's toxic, but I like their relationship a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Jeez. How did he find out which room they were gonna be in? Probably asked the front desk. It's a very nice outfit. Mm. This? <laughs> I got this in Las Vegas. <laughs> she don't seem concerned at all. I think she I think she know because she did she know what he did, so but she don't still seem concerned. Oh, she at don't, all. but I'm wondering if she's this is like intent, like she got a plan. I hope so. Cause I don't want her to die yet. I like them. Alabama, where's our Coke and uh where's Clarence? I'm sorry, I think you're in the wrong room. We don't have any Coke, but there's a Pepsi machine down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody named Clarence, but perhaps my husband does. Let me see those eyes. Turn around for me. Okay. No, you know, no, go the other way. Damn. I thought he was gonna try to make a move. Now where's our Coke? Where's Clarence? And when's he coming back? Fuck you. Jeez. Man, those stomach shots to take your win away do hurt. Large diet cokes. Anything else? Damn. Goodness. He's rubbing her up. My oh, man's clearance not gonna like that. Where's my coke? Damn. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> she <laughs> just <laughs> keeps saying, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at her. Hey, I know who that guy is. Every branch on the way down. Goodness. Now, the first time you kill somebody, that's the hardest. Remember that guy in Texas? The guy up in that fucking tower killed all them people? I bet you green money that first little black dot he took a beat on, that was a bitch of the bunch. The second one. The second one ain't no fucking Mardi Gras idea, but it's better than the first one. I drew up on the first one, you believe that? 
Third one is easy. You level right off. I don't fucking believe it. Journey's end, baby. Snow at the end of the rainbow. Got a lot of hot kids, you know that? Come on. Come on! Come on! All right. No more Mr. Fucking Nice Guy. <laughs> This is a long time he out getting burgers and talking about Elvis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, what the fuck are you laughing at? You look ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She's just taunting him. That's gonna hurt. Damn. Oh, jeez. I don't think her first one was hard. And we don't even know that was our first one. I was thinking that too, but... <laughs> From but what we see. I mean, but that was truly self-defense. Yeah. In her. Hell yeah. That's gonna piss him off. He really gonna use it. I feel like he really gonna use that coke to lure him in, lure him in now. He about to try to take everybody out. <laughs> Carla. Candy. Candy. You gotta help me. Shove it up. No. Fucking put this in your purse. I'm not gonna put that shit in my uh, purse. After all I did for you, you fucking whore. He can leave it in his jack. <gasps> Damn. What? I was about to say, if he had just left it in his jacket pocket, the guy was gonna pull him over for speeding. The way he was driving, and you can kind of tell this dude is high. Nah, he was gonna get searched. <sighs> that mutt was gonna get searched. But damn. Well, he for sure is. <laughs> right? <laughs> the evidence all over. as much as he can. Nah, because that's about to be it for a minute. <laughs> it's baby powder. <laughs> Uncut cocaine in your... Not a tiny little bottle. To him. Fucking baggie. Hey. What about him? Chris Payne. That's, uh, that's the Chris oh, Payne okay. dude, ain't it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, because yeah. he was in the last movie. Oh, yeah. He was the son. Yep. Eddie. You get out in a few years, you meet some old lady, and you'll be so understanding to your wife's needs because you'll know what it feels like to be a woman. <laughs> oh my God. The patrol car pulls a guy over for speeding, right? Suspect's covered with coke. So they bring the suspect to me and Nicholson and we go to work on him. And Nicholson and I. <laughs> he just protected, he just corrected his grammar. <laughs> Seems a cop from some department. We don't know which one. He stole a half a million dollars of coke from the property cage. He's been sitting on this shit for a year and a half. Wait a minute, cause who did he pull over? That was not uh, the dude from the park, was it? No, I don't think it was. It I don't think it was Ellie, was it? Cause I didn't think it that's was Ellie. That's the story but he told that guy. I, I noticed that too. <laughs> but so, but how would they know that story if he did he make that up? Cause I yeah, thought he made that. Yeah, shit that's up. how he made that up. Let's let it finish. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, he made <laughs> I'm that so up. I'm confused. Oh, unless was that the dude from the park that just got pulled over? Maybe it was. I think you it was because his personality back. just changed so drastically. I couldn't. I couldn't tell neither. I was like, I don't. Because when I first saw him, I was like, Is that him? But I was like, I don't think it's him. But I don't yeah, know. I don't think that was him. Yeah, that kind of threw me. I guess we'll get answers as it play out. It had to have been him. Had to. Twenty times. You know what he'll do? He'll wear a wire. He'll wear a wire. He'll wear a wire. I ever told you how much I hate airports. Uh -huh. I used to live by one back in Dearborn. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You and me, we can jump on any one of those planes out there. Boy, ain't one of gives me a whole new album. <laughs> yeah, you ain't kidding. We got lots to start over. We should go somewhere where we can really start from scratch. I've been in America all my life. <laughs> where do you think we should go, my little turtle dove? Thank you. You deserve it. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> they deserve it. I just like their relationship. I ain't gonna lie, but oh, they don't goodness. deserve it. <laughs> hey, hi, 
and Captain, I was just walking out. What? Serious? He got it. She said that? Mm -hmm. Damn, nah. Ain't all the setup though. Oh, yep. You might be right, huh? Yeah, they gotta they gotta get them or him, even though he's not he doesn't have anything to do with it, but he's the guy that that guy knew. He oh, yeah, didn't know yep. him. So you gotta find a way to get Get to them, them too. Yeah, hey, and yeah. to get to the movie producer, because the one that they want hey, yeah. is the movie producer. Hey, yeah. They want to take him down. He's the kingpin or whatever. He's the big guy. I didn't even think of that. I thought maybe he was going to get it and start making different decisions. Like, oh, like, yeah, they nah, all, I can't go with y'all. <laughs> Damn. Hey, they loading up. Hell yeah. Just leave it a time. Good game now, Elliot. Hmm. It's okay. Come on, come on. You all right? <laughs> yeah, that's him, right? Elliot, Is that what? That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's the he's the goofball mm -hmm. at the park. Yeah, he threw me off in that car scene. He I was did. Like, he he didn't look like himself. He, I thought it was a totally different person. Yeah, he acted different in everything because he went from he the whole high. Carlton look to the yeah, whole yeah to like big man. Yeah, like, right. Like and then he was all shot. fragile and jumpy at the beginning to like yeah, fuck yeah. that. Like, hide this coke. Am I comfortable? I've got a. Like a, you know, brick in my scrotum. Listen, Elliot, that's the best <laughs> place for it, okay? If they mm -hmm. pat you down, they're not going to search your balls. Yeah, but well, what happens if somebody does something that you can't hear, like pulls out a gun and puts it to my fucking eye? Elliot, here. we've we, done this a thousand times. We know what we're doing. Hmm. I know, right? You think Elliot going to die? I do. Ah. Bam, you really got that playing basketball? That window open, ain't it? Yeah, why? My feet are cold as hell. Oh, you want me to close it? He making me mad as a character in this show. <laughs> yeah. See, I, which I agree with. Because I'm, I'm liking her. She, she's, hella, she's hella dope. She, she was Even chill. though she's crazy, she's somewhat level-headed. She was just like, no, I'm just trying to dip he, out of there. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he, can, he can go far left real quick. He's so, he crazy one. He didn't oh, I agree. One. They both crazy. But, yeah. yeah. Clarence, what the fuck did you bring that for? In case... He's on a run selling drugs. What you think? Your motivation is to stay out of jail. <laughs> it's about that time. Yeah. Here we go. He gonna give himself away. You're an actor, right? ass motherfucker. <laughs> right? <laughs> For real. Get on your knees. Oh no. Damn. Get on your fucking knees. You think I'm pretty fucking stupid, don't you? Hey, don't you? No. <laughs> Can he hear them? Tell me I'm gonna pump you in your face right here, right now. <laughs> Motherfucker! He's gonna shoot him. I don't like this anymore. Get a hold of yourself, you fucking sissy! Elliot, <laughs> what? I'm sorry, alright? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I like this Clarence kid. This fucking guy's crazy. <laughs> he like really is. Do you know a Clarence Wally? Yes. Do you know where we can find him? Yes, I do. Beverly Ambassador. Where's that? Go. No. Yeah, go down. <laughs> Smoke a bowl or. <laughs> oh. Go down, people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then you go and you keep driving and you keep driving. <laughs> I hope they don't follow the instructions. He said, "Go to Beachwood and drive a while, <laughs> then turn right." I ain't gonna be a need to search me, Daredevil. All you're gonna find is this right here. What compelled you to bring that along? <laughs> it's the same thing that compelled you guys to. Uh... Everybody's here. Elliot, who's who? Come on, everybody, don't be shy. Come on in. Come in. Okay, yeah. Uh... Lee, what? This guy's packing. Now I've been pretty scared about this whole thing. But I'm fairly confident you're just here to do business. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Honey, sit down. Relax. All those assholes make are unwatchable movies from unreadable books. Mad Max, that's a movie. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, that's a movie. Coming home in a body bag, that was a fucking movie. It was the only movie up that time that went on our stupid with balls. This is the deer hunter. What, do you like a little coffee with your sugar? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee, I'm not satisfied till the spoon stands straight up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Is there a fucking doctor in the house or what? Hang on a second. Bingo. 
I have to hand it to you, Clarence. This is not nose garbage. It's quality stuff. The only trouble is... Whenever I'm offered a deal that's too good to be true, it's because it's a lie. Lee, it's like this. So you're getting the bargain of a lifetime because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not a professional, I'm a rank amateur. Look, this is the whole ball game, It's a Joe. fucking game, it's sick! Oh. There, wait, shh. No, I cannot get a million for it, but you can. All right, so I'll sell it to you for 200,000. Elliot tells me that you're fronting for a dirty cop. <laughs> no, I mean, he's not a dirty cop. He's a good cop. He just, you know, he saw his chance and he took it, that's all. He's a wild man, this kid Clarence. I like him. You're wild! I love hey, him! Hey, look at him. <laughs> I love this guy. He bullshitted him. Money, get the money. Touch it, fellas. Let's get these sons of bitches. Oh, you're the wife! Right. Clarence, Clarence, what did you beat her or something? <laughs> <laughs> Dick, if you were just a fucking actor, you never would have got in the room. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Elliot. He's your friend? You got problems? Brought his friend to a drug deal. Well, he this wanted to go because he's excited to meet him. He's trying to get on. True. I was about to say, this but, is no other yeah. But at a drug deal, that's right. what I'm like, I, 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 I just wait. Yeah, right. And right. I just got the role I wanted, the part I wanted. Yeah. I'm, right? I'm going to sit this one out. Back at the crib. No, that's all right. She can count. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Give it to her. Oh, gosh. That's his. He about to tell him to do something stupid. Three. And he went to the bathroom. It's going to look like he set him up. Yep. Cops, who gives a shit? Hey Lee, something I never told you about me. I hate fucking cops. Look at it like the black fucking sign. Now put the gun down. Jeez. There you go, man. This is all about to go. Who's gonna walk out of this alive? Who's Let me do it either or. Well, I want to say he's, just Clarence. He's gonna just Clarence. Just Clarence. He's gonna live no with all girl. this bullshit because he created all this shit. No matter oh who he put gosh. around him, he just fuck he up their lives. Really at fault for this. So he gonna movie. live to enjoy this perk, but also be cursed by all this. I don't know. Or is it gonna it. be? Or is it gonna be a um everybody reservoir go. dog situation? Was that reservoir dog? Yeah, it was. Where, where everybody, everybody died. <laughs> you know who's also thought. quite the villain of this movie? Who? The roommate Brad Pitt. Oh yeah, he's, he, but. Not on purpose though. He just kind of like he just talks like, bro. You ask me a question, I would just tell you. He has like, been so compliant. It's, true. it's ridiculous. I, I did think about that. I'm glad you brought that up. I thought about that. I thought about that one point. I was like, yo, if that just kind of take him out, things <laughs> might go a little better because he He's just, just like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh like, yeah, they went. <laughs> they're over there. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> really he doesn't you hear that? any of this. Right, I was like the same thing. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> there's no way he doesn't hear that, though. Uh-huh. I said, there's no way he doesn't hear this commotion. I know. But I've been again, so, he is crazy in his head here in his conscience slash own, Elvis. Yeah, he's just so in his own mind right now, making sure he's not messing up. Yeah. Officer Dimes? What? Um, this has nothing to do with me anymore, right? Okay. Oh. He ratted himself out. Yeah, why would you do that? You can forget about acting for the next 20 years. Your fucking career is over. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. He shot him because of that. Now the shooting begins. So the cops take out the drug lords and the drug lords take out the cops. He gets shot. Now I'm thinking maybe they both gonna get away with the money. Clarence in Alabama. That was the smartest move. Uh, he he threw the coke up. Yeah. He got shot in the face? Damn. Oh, damn. No, he done. He may not be dead. I should have come out from behind the couch, okay? Capiche? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> Moviere. It, it kind of like it grates. Yeah. Jump kind of a. Fuck you, I'm bleeding. I'll call you a hearse. Damn. This is for Cody. Cody, you need to go to the hospital. Damn. Nah, I knew he was going to finish it. 
Goodness. She got that money still though, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he not. All right. Honey, honey, you have a blood in your eye. <laughs> Everybody's Damn. so focused over there, they yep. literally just walked out. Wow. And they didn't park in the hotel parking, so they can mm -hmm. just go. Yup. Wow. What a first week of marriage. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to top that. Don't speed, just go. Don't cause no attention. They got way better things to worry about. Shit, don't cause no attention. You dirty. They about to go to Cancun, Hell Mexican yeah. border. Here was a thunder of gunshots, and all I could smell was the. Oh, the tables there. turned. I look back. He was just nursing her in the exact same way. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Man, that's love, true romance. <laughs> it's true romance, right there. <laughs> Got so bad. In my mind, endlessly. Is that a Being child? Like a broken record. They have had a child. So cool. <laughs> oh, tell them the story of how you guys met. <laughs> If that bullet had been two inches more to the left, then that things would be much as they are now. Except maybe I wouldn't have named our son Elvis. <laughs> That's what she gives Harry. You were so cool. Hey, they like kind of dope. She even named her son after his idol. Yeah. She let him do that. Like, I mean. Jeez. I used to think I wouldn't like romance movies. <laughs> I might like them now. <laughs> Maybe I should watch Notebook. You think it's like this? <laughs> it ain't nothing like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was amazing, though. I ain't gonna lie. Let me it see. was a whole lot of hectic. Jeez, this. so they both survived. <laughs> they both survived. Mm -hmm. it's, but so did, yeah, they, the three. The actor dude uh, yeah, survived. He, he got survived. out. He, he, got out. he got out of there. They Who got out. Yeah, so I think was them the only three that survived. Yeah. And whatever happened to uh so Blue Lou main guy? Because did they ever shake him? He never could. He never went out there. They yeah, just I know. Goons. I know, but his he lost his goons and his dope. So right, but everybody who had a who had a like idea of where he was got killed. So they could keep sending people to L.A. all they want, but they in Cancun now. True. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Unless they go now. talk to the roommate again. Right? I know, right? Brad is still there. They're in Cancun. <laughs> oh, they just called me yesterday. Like, damn. <laughs> and that was, my goodness, though. These people. I ain't gonna lie. This made a huge turn from where I thought it was going at the beginning. I was like, I thought, of course, they was gonna fall in love and just be toxic, but I thought it was gonna be like, mistakenly, we keep falling into this ish and trying to fix it, and then eventually we just slowly fall out of love because it's it's a ro true ro romance i'm like some gotta be the heart pull the whatever tear jerk or whatever but they was just on some bonnie and clyde shit it us against the world a hooker fell in love with her john with a psychotic with, with a psychotic john, blah who who just makes bad decisions he just mm, made a lot of bad dude. decisions <laughs> was, if they if he never went back to the house i mean but here's the thing though they would not have had the same life or romance because if they had never if he'd never gone to go like kill that dude they would have just lived out the rest of their days in yep. detroit yep probably just being bored working and doing whatever, working but and being me and a married couple but they possibly got, but the way he act on on ish it probably would have changed somewhere, somewhere but yeah like you right though yeah but because he did then they got this cocaine. Now they can get out of this. Now they got to flee the states. Now they end up in California. Now they got to try to sell it. Like, oh my God, this roller coaster. It, I, uh. it, yeah, and it, it takes me to the whole man. Like, so what is really right or wrong? Who's to say? Like, how, why am I? Why did they get rewarded so much in this world for doing so much? So many wrong bullshit? things. And it's like, yo, oh, they came out on top. They came out. On they top. got the money. They didn't even have. Well, they did sell the drugs, but regardless, as long as they got that off of them, was yep. what they need to All do. All they got was the money. They got, they got the, the money. money, and they got the life. The yep. kid, got a kid living in Cancun on a beach. He's got a little beat up. He got grazed by. Well, no, he got hit by the bullet because his uh, he had his an eye, eye was gone. But it probably yeah. yeah. If it had been, I guess, like she said, a little yeah, bit a little closer. bit over, she said it would have got. Yeah, his but he he lost his eye, or at least it's damaged. But my goodness. It was. I, I enjoyed their relationship. I'm not gonna lie. I was. Like, I was enjoying it because it, it just felt like yo, it's crazy to be. They man. lived legit like it was 
no tomorrow. I was like, yeah, no. we, we are living. I met you. I like you. Hey, let's make this shit work. I'm going to look you. crazy. I you like look you. crazy. Let's, let's work. And that's how I went. Cause it, when just, he didn't have a reaction to the fact that that was all a setup, I was like, he's just like, oh, cool. I was just really happy you didn't have a setup. Right? I mean, I would have been too. Like, you tell me... I, Okay, okay. Her eyes is a setup because I get it. She get all her feels. She like. knows, like, but him, he like, hey, I got a cool date, got some Gucci, hung out, had fun. Hey, set me up again. <laughs> set me up again. But it was less a setup and more a purchase. <laughs> like this it was really a business was. transaction. He bought this girl for him. He for the need night. to go, and if his boss set him up, he needs to go get him some paper or something. Because honestly, it wouldn't none of it happen if he didn't set him on his date. He would have never had this life. Oh, well, all right, then. <laughs> All right, well, that was true romance. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed it. I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty cool. I bet Tarantino did the kill parts because the kills were uh, over yeah. freaking. He was top. like, somebody said, "Hey, Tarantino, write me a, ram- a romance movie." And that's <laughs> came I got you, bro. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> this shit's so beautiful, Go. man. You gonna love Go. this? Let me Prostitutes, <laughs> yeah. So it's this prostitute, right? <laughs> Bullshit with this normal working man, right in Detroit. <laughs> Goodness. I do like how they it definitely gave the uh, Detroit vibe unlike the other movie. Oh, because like, it was actually Detroit. Even, yep, I noticed even the license plate was Michigan. I was like, yeah, oh, this is fire, dude. Detroit. Hey, yep. My man's don't know his daddy did, though. He don't, but I, I wonder if at this point, you know, but then again, he went three years without talking to him, so he probably won't find out till later because, like, they have a gap in between their relationship anyway. But he's going to have to find out why, and it's because of you, but they, yeah, yeah. like. It was. Well, all right. I hope y'all enjoyed the movie like my camera about to die anyway. If you oh, want to check out the full out movie here. reaction with no edits, <laughs> minimal cuts. I feel like I look at the camera the entire time. No <laughs> edits, minimal cuts. That link will be in the description below. Also, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Run the video up in the YouTube algorithm. That way keep growing. But other than that, you got to be rom- romantic, babe. You got to be rom- more romantic. <laughs> I got to step up my game. Yeah. We-